Hey guys, Thomas the Silly Jr. here, aka Mustache Chime, here to review Blood Feud. Now, this poster right here, immediately, I'm just gonna say for this movie, was a bit misleading, as I thought that the majority of the movie would take place with these two masked vigilantes or some sort, and they would go around killing people relating to the blood of feud whatever that was but that is not the movie I got instead it was much more relaxed and the pacing was a lot more slower than I thought it was going to be between these two guys who had uh, been a part of this hit or some sort of uh, task to take out someone's son and the guy wanted to get them back and the movie is pretty much between these two characters and their two different ways of handling the situation where the main character seems to want to not want to drink, drive, or do the drugs or any of that bad stuff and the other guy is like, oh, well, I'm still into this and you put me up into this stuff and uh, it only escalates, it only seems to more escalate because of him and the, the things that he's willing to do and that sort of beat people up that's sort of his style and the hit is placed and they know they have like a couple of days and they're trying to figure out what to do and upon that the the main character says that he has a daughter that he's never seen and that he that that's his primary goal is to ask for forgiveness and he's doing all this like sort of searching within himself and wondering what he can do until he finally reveals the truth and upon doing that uh, the, the young woman uh, finally gets this money and then she gets the letter from him and while that's going on, the two characters that we sort of follow are the situation's getting a bit more intense as they come across these other thugs and they're doing all these other things where like there's this one example of this there's a woman in a car and then they find her and then they let her out and then they bring her to the people that put her in there and then she's the one that uh, takes the vengeance while they just sort of leave her to do that and um, it only escalates to this uh, this other main group uh, the guy has these two like sort of henchmen that were like following these two around and um, hassling them coming back and um, they always seem to have a response to get them out of that situation every time and um, in the end uh, the main villain, I guess, I, I wouldn't really call him a villain per se, um, he just, he just, uh, was it the wrong, had sent his son, or got his son in that situation, because he went after the main character himself, and then the other character killed the son, so his proposal was that the main character kill his best friend because that would be his revenge and it would be perfect but they keep like at the end it was like oh well you know sort of like the message I guess of the film was like oh vengeance won't solve this problem and it won't end it it'll just keep going and so on and so forth and the guy thinks about it and he sort of just lets him go finally and then he decides well I got nothing to live for so I'm just gonna kill myself and that's pretty much where the movie ends so it's not the movie I expected but it's still pretty interesting In the, although the pacing was a bit slower than I thought it was gonna be I still was kinda curious of these two characters interacting with each other in this sort of way uh, handling the situation pretty differently, so I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. I would have liked to s see a bit more of the, um, the backstory of these characters, as I feel like that would have helped understand, uh, 
what their scenario was now. I mean, they go into it, and it's like this brief little, like, I want to say 30 second ish sort of deal where the character where you see them kill the kid uh, and it would have been nice to see a bit more of that because I feel like that would have helped understand why these characters are one of them sort of trying to get out of that and why the other one's sort of trying to perpetuate that situation further and further um other than that, it's an okay movie. Um, the acting, the main character, uh, I want to say the his friend was the better actor. He seemed like actually more of a main character in that sort of way. Um, he seemed more focused and more energized and just a bit more in the mood of the scenario. And the main character had a moment, I'll, I will say that, but other than that, um, it's an okay movie, uh, you might want to check it out, so, with that being said, I'm Thomas Cicilla Jr., aka Mustache Tom, and I'll see you guys next time.